Hey guys, it's Candy, and I'm here for a quick um, DT call. Um, Rena Myers had just put out a video that my besties here on YouTube has a DT call, and um, I don't have any of her, but I think her stamps and her digis are phenomenal, and I love what Rena does, and um, so many other um, people too. I think Sybil does, and I've seen so many awesome, awesome things done with the My Besties. I love them. Um, I haven't gotten them yet. <laughs> I'm still so new here on YouTube, and all the cool products. I haven't had a chance to go out there and buy any yet, and I'm actually getting ready to leave to go out of town for a couple weeks. So, um, um, she just really, I think, wants to see our style and our coloring skills. So. Um, any of you who are interested, go out to Rena's video. I'll have the link below um, and try out because the Bestie stamps are phenomenal. You are going to love coloring them. They are just so stinking cute. Um, I have all boys, so <laughs> it kind of fills that, that need for girly girl. <laughs> anyway, um, this is a um, Prima tag um, that I made just to kind of show how I paper piece in a little bit of my style. Um, like I say, I'm still new, so I don't really know my style. Um, I just like to color, and I like to put things that look cute together. Um, this tag, I paper pieced, um, got a butterfly, glued it in the back, and this is a heart doily here that kind of wraps around. Um, some flowers that I just picked up, some at yard sale, some on clearance. Um, I guess if I had to say my style is I'm a junk junkie. I love to go to yard sales and thrift stores and find stuff to refurb. So um, that's kind of where I'm at. So this is, I just made this for this um, to kind of show my coloring here. Um, I've got a couple others that I've got here at the house. The rest I've kind of, I'll give it away. So um, I'll have a slideshow in the back to kind of show some of the other things that I've colored. Um, and, I'm doing this mostly for fun because I just, like I say, love to color. Um, I'm uh, not an expert. I just got my Copics like a couple months ago, so I'm not real good with them yet. But I just love to color. So that's why I thought, you know what, I'm going to pop out of my comfort zone and give it a try. And if I don't make it, maybe I'll try again some other time. But either way, but I just love seeing what everybody does and how they color. So, um, so that was... Um, the third Prima doll that I've ever made. I'll have a picture of the second one that I did. Here's my um, first one that I made. I actually colored the background because it didn't match what I wanted to do here with this here. This doll um, gave it a pink and blue hue, kind of give it a nighttime vibe. Um, and again, I paper piece, add some lace and some bling, some flowers, and I uh, spritz the flowers with some. Um, not sure what the spray was. It was something I picked up at a yard sale. Um, another coloring project that I've done. This is Stampin' Up! Stamps um, set. And I add some stickers and just colored up um, and added some color to the background of the hive. So another example. Um, another real fun one that I just did that you guys probably will recognize is um, from this mini album. I colored up these animals. Um, Generally, I try to stick to what animals are supposed to be, so um, the fact that I did an orange pig really was a stretch, <laughs> but I thought it was cute, and it kind of matched the pages that it went with. Um, and again, I'll throw some pictures, um, some more pictures at the the back of this video of other things that I've colored and done. Um, and like I say, girls, go out to Rena's webs, uh, YouTube that I have below and just check it out and give it a try. Um, even if you don't think you're good enough, go ahead and try it. Stretch. Who knows? You might actually make it. So anyway, hope you guys are all having a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.